Hello and welcome to this tutorial on the command line interface, help and editing commands. If you spend enough time at the command prompt uh, at routers and switches, you've realized that the more efficient you can be, the happier you will be. Moving around quickly is also really important when you have an urgent matter to resolve and um, wasting time on finding the command you need or editing something you've typed is really crucial. So we'll review all of the ways you can find help at the command line prompt um, to find the commands you need or to find parameters of a command. And then we'll go ahead and take a take a look at all of the different shortcuts um, regarding editing and recalling commands. So let's start at a command prompt. And here I'm on a router. I'm in privilege mode. And we're looking at help functionality. So I'll type the help command, and this pretty much does nothing for you. It doesn't help you find anything, but it tells you a little bit about the help functionality of the Cisco IOS. So read this on your own sometime, but you'll rarely use help. What you will use all the time is the question mark. So the first thing to know about question mark is it tells you all of the available commands. So if I just enter the question mark like that, I don't even have to hit enter. It immediately displays all of the available commands to me. So, you know, you can see here we have a list. I can cycle through this. I can hit the space bar to get to the bottom of it. That tells me everything available to me. That's the very, very useful command. So let's say I've decided I know I want to use the show command based on what was available to me. And here you can see show in the list of options. But then I'm not sure what's available after that. Well, I can do the same thing again. I can hit the question mark, and now it tells me everything I can possibly type into the command prompt that would logically follow the show command. So these are all options. These are all parameters of the show command. So I can cycle through all these and see everything that's available to me. And I can continue doing this. Let's say I'm interested in interfaces. Well... I now have show interfaces, but I'm not sure what's next. Again, I could hit the question mark, and it tells me all the options I have to complete this command. These are all the parameters of this command. Let's look at another functionality of the question mark, and that is command completion. So let's go back to our show interfaces. Let's say I type show int, and then I hit a question mark it shows me what can logically follow from typing in INT. That is the only available command based on what I typed. So it tells me command completion. That's very, very useful. And that is available at any stage. So if I wasn't sure about show, I could hit the question mark. Now I know show interfaces. I'm not sure about that. Okay, now I can type interfaces. Um, let's say I'm interested in fast ethernet, FA, but I'm not sure how they want me to type it. I can hit question mark, and now you can see here I have two options based on FA. I can go fast Ethernet or fair Q. So command completion is very important functionality here for the help command, the question mark, not only on the command itself, but all of the different parameters. And that's the question mark. Super useful. You'll find it all the time because there are a lot of different options, a lot of different parameters in the Cisco IOS. Another very helpful feature is the tab so let's say I don't want to use the question mark functionality, and I just type fast, and if I hit the tab key, it will complete the command for me. So here, if you kind of know where you're already going, you know you want to type out show interfaces fast Ethernet, you don't need the question mark because you already know where you're going. You can just type show interfaces tab, it completed it for me, and I type fast and hit tab again, it completes it for me again. So this is just a, a faster way to navigate. And those are pretty much all of the useful help commands that you'll be using all the time. This is what we covered for help commands. We looked at help itself, not too useful. Then we looked at the question mark, very useful, not only to figure out what's available to you on a command, but what parameters of that command are also available. And also, it tells you how to complete a command or a parameter. And then we looked at the tab key. So if you kind of know where you're going and you just want to be more efficient about it, faster to get that command out, and you can type the whole thing yourself, or if you know a bit of the command, you type it, you hit tab, it completes it for you.
So now let's move on to editing and recall commands, and there are quite a bit more to cover here. So let's go back to a command prompt. We're at the router in privilege mode, and I've already entered a bunch of commands previously. And let's go ahead and look at some of the recall features and then some of the editing commands available to us. And these are so valuable because they make life easier. They make things more efficient. And when you're in a pinch to get something done, these can really make life better. So the first one is the up arrow or hitting control P, and that gives you the last command you issued. Very simple thing. If you're entering a command a few times, say show clock or show interfaces, very, very useful. If you hit down, that gives you um, the previous command you hit. So I've cycled back here. You can see I'm maybe three or four commands back. But let's say I went too far. Well, if I hit the down arrow or control N, I can then go further up in the list back to the most recent one. If I want to use... Uh, rather, if I want to go, let's say, move the cursor backwards without actually deleting something, I can use the left arrow or control B. Very useful. So let's say I wanted to insert something here and I didn't want to delete the word clock. Likewise, I can use the right arrow or control F to move the cursor forward without deleting any characters. So if I hit the right arrow, you can see I can move here. So the arrow keys are just very useful. Let's take a look at another key, and let's say I need to actually delete something. Well, if you hit backspace, you can delete. You can delete an entire line if you want. Pretty simple. Let's say I need to get to the beginning of the command. Well, I don't want to delete the whole command. I can left arrow all the way over there, but it could be a very long command. A shortcut is hitting control A, and you can see now I've moved automatically to the first character of the command. Very useful. Likewise, if I want to get to the end of the command without having to right arrow all the way over, I can hit control E, and that brings me to the very end of that command. That's pretty useful as well. If I want to delete a single character, I can backspace, or if I move the cursor over that character, I can hit control D, and that deletes that particular character. Also, let's say I have a, a bunch of, I have a long command, and I don't want to, I want to go back into the command. I want to go to the left, but I don't want to go all the way to the beginning, and it'll take too much time to sit here and left arrow all the way. So an option I have is hitting the escape B key, and that moves you one word at a time. So you can see here, I'm moving one word at a time. That's very useful. It's just faster. It's almost like the fast forward from the left arrow, right? Likewise, if I want to move in the other direction, and I don't want to go a character at a time, but I don't want to jump all the way to the end of the line, if I hit Escape F, you can see I can move. Oops. one word at a time. Again, just a very good way to quickly move around. Let's say I've typed a command and I want to erase the entire line. If you hit control U, it deletes the entire line. So if you're typing something and you've messed up and you made a mistake and you just want to clear the screen, start over, control U is very useful. If I have a few commands here, if I hit control W, that will delete a single word at a time. So I don't want to backspace the entire thing here you can see control W. I can delete entire words, a faster way to do it. And if you're in configuration mode and you're in global, you can type exit to get out. That's one thing to do. But let's say you're in configuration mode and you're in a few layers down. So now I'm in interface configuration mode. If I type exit, it brings me back up to global. And I could be pretty deep down into the config, and I don't want to type exit 10 different times. So an option I have here is hitting Control-Z, and that ends the configuration mode automatically. doesn't matter how far into uh, configuration mode I am. It takes me out right away, and that's just a lot faster than typing exit three or four times. Here's just a list of all of the editing and recall commands we covered. You can see there are a bunch of them. 
try some out as you go along. It's there. There's a lot to remember, but the more you use them, the more they'll just make sense. And once they start making your life easier, you'll definitely remember them. And that's it. Let's take a quick summary of what we went over. So we know we have help commands. The most important ones are the question mark and using the tab key and then editing and recall. There are quite a few commands there to make your life easier. And that's it. Thanks for watching.